Yeah, so our project is just on uh, the accuracy of Sir Thomas Mitchell's field notes. Yeah. This stream project was to decipher the field notes and observations of uh, Thomas Mitchell, later Sir Thomas Mitchell, when he performed a survey in Newcastle in uh, 1828. Another aim was to determine the accuracy of Thomas Mitchell's drawings on his field notes of the Newcastle area. So Thomas uh, Livingston Mitchell was born in the parish of Falkirk, County of Stirling, Scotland on the 15th of June uh, 1792 and baptised on the 18th of June 1792. Uh, Mitchell was a man of many talents, becoming a talented artist and writer, and he was also a geologist and botanist. His talents were developed at a young age and, just, and he displayed drawing ability beyond others in his age group. Um, he went to the Peninsula War in 1811 and uh, at the age of 19 as 2nd Lieutenant, 1st Battalion and 95th Regiment of Rifles. He went to battle and uh, was engaged in topographical intelligence. Uh, he returned to England in 1819, a very different person, and uh, to complete his plans of the Peninsula battles and was determined to make the illustrations to the Peninsula plans examples of skillful artistry. To help in achieving this, he took lessons from John Laporte an English landscape painter, chiefly in watercolours. Uh, he was promoted to major in 1826 and in 1827 travelled uh, to Australia where in 1828 was appointed Surveyor General of New South Wales in the replacement of the uh, late John Oxley. Uh, Mitchell was a remarkable figure in colonial Australia. He managed to develop the first detailed map of the 19 counties, as can be seen here, and uh, 19 counties surrounding Sydney and also increased the efficiency of the Surveyor General's office and the amount of land surveyed. His abilities range from exploration to survey, surveying to road building and bridge construction. Uh, Mitchell completed four major expeditions into Eastern Australia, setting off to trace the Darling River to the sea, uh, exploring the Murray River and on his fourth expedition whilst exploring the Murray decided to explore the southeast and in doing so discovered the Grampians. On one of these expeditions, he passed through Newcastle, drawing remarkable sketches and surveying the landscape of the town, as we can see here. Um, Mitchell continued his role as Surveyor General until his death caused from pneumonia in 1855. Throughout this project, a 1830 plan was of Newcastle ex extensively used for coordinating and understanding Sir Thomas Mitchell's observations. The plan drawn by Surveyor John Armstrong is considered to be the best ever early plan of Newcastle. John Armstrong was an employee of the Australian Agricultural Company around 1830, and his plan show, shows every building and small de detail in the uh, early town of Newcastle. This provided a lot of relevant information to relate Mitchell's observations to actual buildings and structural features, such as windmills, flagpoles, uh, etc. The observations of uh, Sir Thomas Mitchell was not recorded in the conventional manner of surveying practice as it is known today, and have been ciphered and shown within the report. With these observations and the use of Armstrong's plan, they could be overlaid to show where Mitchell observed from and to. Uh, coordination of the plan in the Mac of Australia values allowed the positions of Mitchell's observed points to be overlaid with the current aerial, aerial photograph of the Newcastle area. The deciphering of his observations was essential in completing this task, and these methods, methods of determining the accuracies and coordinating the plan are shown within the report. Uh, 